Oh, my oh, fucking zoo, man. Joint. What the fuck? <laughs> I just fucking oh, rolled that. He's he's smoking, he's smoking a zoobie. You need another one? I got another one rolled up. Yeah, Come, damn. Fuck, man, some Gorilla Glue. You want some Gorilla Glue or what? Oh, you need to stop glue. smoking the joint, bro. You want Gorilla Glue or you want uh, Ami? What do you want? Cool. <laughs> no, I'm good. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't talk on the phone a bit, you know? Take, take, take that one, that one, that. <laughs> That's better. What the fuck? The better locals. Huh. <clears throat> so what's going on? Uh, you know, chilling as much as you can be chilling. I'm just spying on the mandem, really. Not gonna lie. Mental warfare is still hitting hard. As always, you know, this this gang seems to have an issue with you know trying to flex on others and nobles in people thinking they don't do things, and I think their egos are so insecure that they're too scared to accept the truth from reality. You know, that's crazy. No way, said that. They asked me to play games with them, so I started playing games with them, and now I don't like the games. But then they escalate me on the phone and say, "Oh, basically, asked me to do more." I don't really understand them. That's mad. So they was basically playing like SNES and you were on the PS5. I'm going, uh, yeah, who knows? I'm, I might be even next gen consoles from this, you know? Whee! <laughs> I think even a SNES would be an offense to the SNES. So, like, like the, they're playing Pong. Think... Oh, yeah, but is he, he, Pong is like iconic. Pong's, yeah, it's iconic, not gonna lie. Anyway, yeah. Um, what's good? Miguel, you want to explain what happened today? Because I don't know how the fuck you even got into that meeting, brother. Oh, yeah. Um, Matt calls me. He's like, yo, can we have a uh, talk about some shit? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I go to a meeting. He's there with Steve. Um, they started, like, fucking waffling about some shit. And it's not really, like... This isn't, isn't really, like... doesn't matter. And then it turns into the meth lab stuff. Uh, he starts talking about the meth lab, like, asks what happens. Apparently, you tweeted a picture or some shit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just told them that I gave you the key. Um, and they were pissed. And then Steve started having some attitude with me. I was about to shoot him in the face, but as soon as uh, Flippy showed up, his tone changed. Um, and then we essentially talked to them and told them that we don't really have any loyalties with Mandem as a group. It's more with individuals like Steve and uh, and Matt, and uh, hmm. you know, essentially fuck that group. And uh, yeah, and you have the key. I think the main point of the conversation is they kept like almost guilt tripping us in a way, like, like <clears throat> they're like saying like, why did you do? Why are you doing this, Amanda? Uh, for Tommy and we kind of explained to them like I mean I think I hit him where it hurts to be honest in a way because I feel like during this for the last couple months they've kind of done whatever they want they big dick whoever they want they're choosing their loyalties however they want um and I said the only reason you're loyal to us let's be honest uh why well, asked them I said be honest with me why do you think Bandom is so loyal to us and Steve said the truth and he was honest and he said the fear of hydra <clears throat> and i said right and if you put us uh, if you put them in our shoes we don't have that fear we don't have the fear of anybody so we don't need to be loyal because of that only the reason we we're like somewhat loyal to Manum was because of two people who are around the game you know which is c and matt that's the only reason we were ever even like Close to them to begin with was when Matt joined Vendetta. That's the only reason our connection started with Mandem to begin with. So, I mean, I, I told Matt that too, and I think they both realized that like, it's not necessarily that we're trying to snake them per se. It's more like we've we don't really never really been that close to most of Mandem. Hmm. I think it's like a, a reality chat they've had in the past couple of days that a lot of connections that the madam had was also like things where i'd built bridges for them early on and then 
other gangs would talk to them because they've like met me or know me from before. They yeah. had that respect because of that. But then and they I... fucked over a lot of those bridges that I made. So I've exactly. had to go and reconcile those when I come back, you know? <clears throat> yeah, and I pretty much, um, you know, I hinted and I mean, you called me out on it. I hinted at like, we're pretty much doing to them what they've done to people who they were so called close to. And obviously one of them was like I told you, was the angels. They, you know, they'll big dick them. They'll try to do whatever they want to do with them. But you were the only one that ever stayed, you know, uh, like had good terms with them. Mm -hmm. But when you weren't around, they, they, they pretty much felt like they could do whatever they want to the angels. <clears throat> so it's like when, when they feel like they're the bigger, bigger dogs, they don't have loyalty to anyone else. And the saints said the same thing really as well. You know, they like when the war ended, they wanted more money from them and they wanted more stuff. And they wanted, if anything, they wanted to keep going because they kept trying to flex money on the Saints when they were like, they'd, they'd lose a gun battle and then start fucking saying, yeah, we've well, got millions more, we can keep going. Yeah. It was my money after all, you know, as we found out. Yeah. I mean, truth be told, is I was there for like like 15 minutes by myself before Flippy showed up. And I just straight up told him, bro, I don't fuck with, with Sparky. He's never made an effort with me. I don't make an effort with people unless they try to make an effort with me. I don't give a fuck about him. I don't give a fuck about anybody else in that gang. Denzel's an op. The only people that I have any sort of feelings towards is fucking um, Matt and Steve. So why the fuck am I going to sit here and side with them over you? When you're the one that came to us and at least explained to us. You get what I'm saying? Matt didn't even come tell me. Steve didn't even tell me. I mean, it's some bullshit like they, they had to get permission or some shit. You know what they say, bro? I think me and SK would be, you know, good friends in, a, in another world. But, you know, you know this... What's the saying? Fuck. What's that saying? Um, fuck, I'm really stupid. I have a really bad headache. <clears throat> um, hey, smoking too much of that. Join me. Uh... I don't know what the saying is. I can't even help um, you. Give me, give me some clues. You're kind of the same as someone. I feel like he's kind of like two peas in right? a pod. Yeah, I feel like he's kind of similar to me, where he has like a chip on his shoulder at all times, bro. Oh, and when yeah. that happens, like they, they, they like fucking, um, they collide, you know. That's your clashing. Like, your similar personalities that clash. Okay. Yeah. Like I remember when I was when I was shooting on them, bro. I just look for him specifically. You'd look for him specifically when... Yeah. I remember I seen him once and I grappled on top of him and shot him. Fair. I mean, I guess with the whole meth lab shit, like, I mean, yeah, I played that card yesterday because I was playing mind games like crazy. Um, I guess it is finding out what it's like just to, you know, you feel like you've been wronged or, like, stolen from for no reason. Oh. They probably thought you guys really loyal to them. Well, speaking of mind games... Um, you know, me and Miguel went on the side and Miguel, oh, he texted me too. And he said, you have your son in Hydra, I want mine too. So, I mean, listen, the chances are mm. we're pretty fucking low. Um, so I think Miguel kind of wanted to stir it and see how they acted, I guess. And, uh, you know, might have, uh, tried to poach them a little bit. And just... You know, see how what they say, and uh, you know, try to poach them, Matt and Steve. Yeah, yeah, how <laughs> did that go down? Because I feel like, I mean, it didn't say what no. you're saying. If it, I mean, I feel, I feel like I'm in Steve's head. Well, put it this way, okay, they didn't say no, they stayed quiet. Um, Steve didn't say anything until Matt said something. Matt gave you the political answer of saying, uh, I can't leave my gang when everything is, you know, going downhill, which I can respect him saying that. Apparently you can't leave that gang anyway. You mean you leave that gang and you get shot. So. Yeah. And then Steve kind of said, yeah, I'm loyal or some shit like that, which, you know, sounded forced, mm -hmm. but that's besides the point. But what really like, kind of like gave me the thought of like, they really are like thinking about it or they're unsure or whatever. After this happened, they said James Malden was on the way. 
So James Malding was pulling up. And I told James, give us a second. Let us keep talking. And he said, okay. And he backed away. I'll be honest, bro. If anyone ever said that to like anyone in my gang, like, you know, back away, we're talking privately or whatever. I would have been like, no, they could stay it. Like, you know, I feel like that's how I am with my people. At least like, there's nothing that you're going to keep from me. Oh, you just said, oh, he's not as calm. You can hear this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they just let him go on the side and we kept poaching. Oh, so you're fully stirring the pot as well now. You're playing with their heads. <sighs> now you're, you're making them two telling us each other or well, them three. Yeah, it seemed that way, to be honest. Welcome to Mental Warfare. It's pretty fun, isn't it? I had a great time. Oh, you can tell anyone in my gang, brother. When it comes to war, that's what I'm. That's my favorite, Mental Warfare. I didn't that's... know I enjoyed it so much. I might enjoy it too much, actually. This shit sounds deep. Yeah, can we, can we like, can we kill people? I, I don't know how much. Because you know what? I even touched anyone, lifted a finger, and I feel like that gang's falling apart. I need to kill somebody, bro. That's the, the, the shit you guys are telling me is wild. I mean, listen, I'll be real. I don't, I don't break mentally. I'm just, I'm impenetrable. Yeah, like, sweet. The, the fact that, that the first good stuff, Alan. Good shit, brother. <laughs> Anyways, um, on the I, was gonna, I was gonna finish. I was gonna say the fact that nah, these no, guys honestly, I bet you we, we got what you were trying to say. <laughs> what, was I what was I gonna say? No, we got it. Good shit, Alan. Um, I have a question, actually, seriously. No, no, Capparini, Tortellini. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll keep questions for the no, end. Chill, 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 chill. What happened to the old heads? Like, where's, like, Moses? Mosellini? Moses is like... fucking lost. That's what's on the phone. That's who I spoke to last. That guy, I don't know. He's, like, a mere shadow of the guy he once was. And okay. he's, I think then... he's stuck in the past. What happened to Vegetable? Where's Vegetable? Uh, I kidnapped him, and I got in his head. Um, and he has taken time away from the gang. Okay, who are the old heads? Where's Patar? What's Patar saying? Uh, Patar is an ICU with one arm and a caved-in chest. Because what once again, I, I, I kidnapped Patar yesterday, and I took them on a little mission around the whole city, trying to work out where the fuck I had him. You know, I take selfie, move, take selfie, move. Um, and eventually, I left him on an island right at the top of Polito Bay. Um, just cuffed. And I gave them all the clues how to find him, and they were so fixated on finding me, they left him out there to pretty much freeze. Um, so by the time they got to him, he had, like, hyperthermia, he had frostbite, and instead of waiting for EMS to fucking deal with him, they tried to deal with him himself. So when they the moved frostbite. him, when they moved him, they pulled his arm off, and they caved his chest and tried to do CPR. And they're trying to blame nah. me now, but I'd even hurt him. No, so the, the, so the, the one thing I did do is I oh. bash his head on a rock once, just you know, making it all dazed and confused and trying all dumb shit. Right. You try to fucking give man brain damage, man said I bash his no. head on a rock. No, 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 it was it wasn't not... it wasn't enough to make him, you know, really do anything damage to his head. It was more like a little bit dazed, you know? It's like you get happy slaps. You remember? Oh yeah, happy slaps back in the day. Little, little, little one of those, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a heavy is, happy right? slap. Oh, it's like a like a one of those ones. No, harder. I was like a like a like one of those nah, ones. Much harder than that, though. Just, yeah, like it's not getting harder. Right, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me, let, me, let me charge this up. Give me a second. He's getting softer. That's yeah, cap. Like, I can hear my ear ringing. Is... Help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like that. Like that. So, so how you are now? Like that. Fuck. Dun that dunked on the wall a little bit, you know? A little bit of water torture. I didn't do anything else, really. Yeah, you gave him a Dunkin' Donut. A little Dunkin' Donut, and, then, and I and left him on good terms. It. They fumbled it. It was all focused on trying to get me. They fumbled it. They found me on my bubble and started shooting me up and didn't hit a fucking single bullet. Oh, the apple crumbled. Yeah, just prove how much of a mess that gang is, really. Do you remember that one time, Tommy, when me and uh, me and Guy left them clues about when you went to, back to London, and then they instead of trying to figure out where you were, they all turned on each other? Yeah, that's that's what, basically the same thing happening all over again. <laughs> but even worse. Yeah, because this time it's involving bullets, I guess. Well, I'm not even doing anything. They, they, they shot... No, I, hang on. They sh I had Winston with me, right? For some reason, Winston decided to... He's trying to play both sides. The thing that I realized, mm. he's playing both sides. He tried to switch sides to my side. So he's in the boat with me. And they shot him, not me. What the they're, shooting, fuck? They're, they're shooting their own gang members. I've, I've got like three of them about even doing anything. 
he really is in their head. Hmm. How have you done this? I I could never see my. I, I, that's crazy. You can't do that. No, I'm, 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 I, I can read people like fucking books. I'm just, no, my mind read. is in. I'm impenetrable. Alan, don't exhaust <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, you're right. That's my bad. Anyways, carry on. King is impenetrable. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. The one where like, you know, when people like, you know, what do they you say? can't penetrate you. Yeah, what they say, you got a skull uh, thick like bones or uh, like thick like metal or something. What's, what's yeah, the same? Yeah, that one. Yeah, hey, Miguel, you got a skull thick like bones. Something this, uh, you get the point, man. It's, it's not about the, it's not about the quote. Yeah, yeah, it's my, about my the skull metaphor. Thick like bones. Yeah, it's the metaphor. Do you guys understand the fucking point? Tomato, tomato. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, them thick like bones all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. All right. Anyways, let's get back to being productive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Go on in. But I guess to finish uh, the Thompson, meeting for the, for the mental warfare part, um, we ended up telling James to come back to the meeting. You know, he can join the table for once. Um, and when he joined, we pretty much told him, you know, the truth again. You know, you're not really loyal to us because you were necessarily fuck with us, really. More like you guys are afraid of us and he admitted he's like yeah i can see that and then he said okay well i can't do anything to hydra so minus one lab i guess and he got in his car and he left who's accepted defeat there and then yeah 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 pretty much that's tough really tough and his own boys laughed at him when he when he left Hmm. It sounds about right, you know? That's family right there. Family. Laugh at each other when you uh, get ridiculed, you know? This all started because Tommy Cruiser got Ligma and you laughed at him. <laughs> that isn't why it started. Let's, let's, be, let's, let's bring that back in. What happened to that guy? I heard he got murked. He got Ligma, bro. I already got put in a in a in a, in a riz. He died like Ligma or something. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah, he got rid of the Sigma and Ligma took over. Was well, the Sigma after Ligma? Yeah, maybe. Honestly. He gets the Gundy's last. Yeah. What the fuck are you, man? Chat. Well, Sigundi's is like the final boss. Yeah. Oh, he gets Gundy's, okay, bro. Okay. It's GG. Okay, and I'm, uh, that you have an hour. Was... You've got an hour left. The rest of them are like twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tommy thought I had Ligma. But I'm good. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's good news, man. Uh, congratulations. All right. Anyways. um, Yeah, so yeah, that's where we are. Okay. So, you're, you're, they basically, I mean, I guess I involved. They know we're off. Now they, they've taken it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going to try and play it off that, you know, I kind of tricked you into getting it more so than just you was working alongside or like help me out you know i didn't really want to get you guys too involved anyway because i mean it's much of a business you want it to be but i don't want to get you into shit that you can't be asked to deal yeah, well, with you know yeah well you know what you know what would have been great if you had told me that before yeah, i went to a fucking fuck meeting you. with a uh, angry Steve and fucking matt like trying to fucking berate me yeah Th these guys like, are I having like i did tell i feel like i did tell you there was you know a chance i would use it as a card yeah, and I said, don't take, it, don't, don't, card, don't, not... don't take it out of your fucking thing and give it to them. Okay, that is completely different than, hey, I'm going to use it and act like I tricked you into me giving you it. Are you trying to fucking you, you know how me? No, 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 you know how fucked you. it was? Uh, Matt calls me, yo, we need to have a meeting. I'm with Miguel right now. We're talking about the key you gave to Tommy. Bro, I walked into this meeting. I had to instantly tell Miguel, let's have a sidebar because... I had no idea what the fuck I'm going to say. Yeah. Wait, Miguel, did I ask permission? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I just forgot. I straight nice. asked permission from you to do it. Yeah, I forgot. Oh. Yeah, I, was I, saying, I, swear, I swear I, respe I respectfully fucking actually asked you properly. You did, yes. Yeah, I even, well, I, even call, I, I even tried to call you Flippy to say before I even okay, did it. Okay, Tommy, well, you've learned something today. Is if you're going to go through anything when it comes to anything, 
Brains, you need to hit me up, please. Thank you. Nah, it's fine. We're, we we made a good deal of it. It's fine. I mean, I guess that they're scared of you, so don't worry anyway. Exactly. You got spice now, bro. It was too perfect not to use it there, and then you know, I got excited. Yeah, Matt I just didn't trying, expect Matt, Matt, to was to, Matt was trying to big dick me, so I thought, you know what? Well, here we go. Yeah, I just didn't expect Tommy to blow his load everywhere, you know? I haven't blown my load everywhere yet. I'm still edging. Damn. We might as well just let that run out. Fuck it. Nah, I wouldn't. Nah. He's not. I'm, I'm impenetrable. Doesn't... Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's a metaphor, not. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's imp you imp impregnable. Your apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not impregnable, no. <laughs> Same thing, man. In, what's the difference? Impregnable and impenetrable. That's what Mike Tyson said, no? Sure. What? Mike Tyson said that. Yeah, he said, <laughs> How do you he say said, that? Yeah, Mike Tyson was like, my style is impregnable. My defense is impenetrable. I, I eat his heart out. You know what I'm saying? He said that. that you know, remember that? Yeah, I guess. If you say so. I know, so I heard it. Mm -hmm. come from his That's lips. Sweet. It come didn't come from his lips, but like it, the, the so words came from his lips. It come from his lips, a bit weird, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Cause you said it. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, <clears throat> you guys deal with this guy um, every day. Yeah. I I mean I used to deal with this guy every day. I just forgotten how much he waffles and just says stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, you act like what I'm saying is not irrelevant. Irre That's not irrelevant. irrelevant. I, just, I just like you just you just say stuff, innit? <laughs> no, yeah, not necessarily. He, he tends to do that quite often, actually. I you, you like you got worse. I didn't get what the fuck you mean I got fucking worse. I'm, I'm not trying to get you, don't worry. I'm the same geezer, lemon squeezer I've always been. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. That's more like it. Thank you so much. See, impenetrable. Yeah. Although, one thing actually. Um, What's up? Not for you. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Flippy, uh, apparently there's like a, an oil crisis here in the city. And apparently you, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. We could get you now, back obviously, involved. Obviously, since I've got Patar out, I just, you know, it'd be good to get UK all back up and running. Yeah, we can make that happen. I don't know how you want to make that happen, but if you can help, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to get a cut of that, then, then whatever, just let me know. Okay. Um... So ultimately, I just want to get the station up and running and working. I don't care if I have to right, pay you or what. I don't know. Okay. I'll Ten mil. My guy. Ten mil. I mean, I, that, that company's only made 10 mil in the time I've owned it. Yeah, it's probably makes like a mil a month or something like that. Yeah, max, really. I just said a random number in hopes. Fair. I respect it. You know, you got, you got to shoot for the moon. Stars. I don't like the moon. If the you moon. shoot for the moon and you miss, you'll be amongst the stars anyway, innit? So. Yeah, but the oh, moon can, you, you can. You can technically travel to the moon uh, in an hour if you're traveling 100 miles an hour in a straight line. Okay. Yeah, 100. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. Uh, think about that one, buckaroo. Well, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> is that a case of reaching out to someone, no Flippy, or is it a case of you'll get them to reach out to me or what? Um, A little bit of both. I want to see if he's even down. I know you pretty much said fuck everybody. You're just going to keep me running and... I think the auto they're on strike or saying right. Oh wait, what's saying? They're gonna go. They're saying they're on strike or something. All the gas people. I think he just said fuck everybody to be honest. And even about being on strike. Oh fair. I think he's just gonna keep me running and harmony running, and then I think autos runs by themselves. The rest, they're just, I don't know whatever happens. I guess. <clears throat> Bro. I think Patar signed a new contract on the one that I, was, I had. I don't remember what, who the fuck he signed it with. It was a Barry Mushkin there originally. That was ages ago, though. Yeah. I've talked to him. Now, now, now it's just me and Alex Ron employed at UKL. Yeah, that lazy cunt should fire him too. Well, his, his role is just L, so. Oh, good. 